Hey everybody, Watches Review here with a look at Sasquatch from Marvel Legends Wave 12, that is the Apocalypse Wave. Now before going any further, I suppose I should address the $10,000 question, which is who is Sasquatch and why should you care about him? Well, Sasquatch is a long-standing member of Alpha Flight, which many may will remember as Wolverine's old crew. And everybody loves Wolverine, right? I'm not 100% on Sasquatch's backstory, but I seem to recall he was a scientist who was studying gamma radiation, like one of the other, the North or South Pole. And when an experiment went wrong or right, depending on how you look at it, and he was endowed with, well, a superhuman, super furry form, which in reality is actually, he kind of opened like a gateway between worlds and stuff, and some spirit from another world came in and inhabited his body, but he can transform at will into this giant superhuman form, which is capable of tremendous feats of strength, including pulling an entire battleships and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk, so you know, that is pretty cool. As for why you may consider buying him, he's a massive figure. He's an 8-incher, putting him on par with Wendigo, who is also inspired by a Native American story. And he is positively gargantuan when compared to a somewhat average size figure, such as first appearance Spider-Man here, who is a six-incher. Even bigger when you compare him against somebody like Wolverine, and our old friend Face-Off Sabretooth isn't even close to being his height, despite Sabretooth being somewhat on the taller side. Now, Sasquatch boasts 42 points of articulation, and also comes in a white variant, which I believe is to represent the snowbird form, after he was killed and resurrected. And he was packaged with one of Apocalypse's arms. I'm going to quickly run through the articulation. He has fully articulate fingers, which greatly adds to that count. The one problem with his fingers, however, these are all individually articulated, by the way, is both hands have different sculpts for the fingers. This one is curled fingers, the other one has straight, which I'm not too fond of, because it means that he has slightly different grips. Although it's kind of a petty thing, but you can actually hold something with his left hand, but not his right. Now the wrist will move back and forth. The arm will, the forearm will rotate, but this one's kind of stiff. I bought him loose. Double jointed elbow, bicep joint, arm joint, floating shoulder, which is always good. Of course, in this case, it makes it a little bit tougher to manipulate the ball joint in the shoulder, but whatever. Head will rotate a full 360 degrees if you want to, moves up and down just fine. Very slightly impeded by the hair. By the way, this look, I'm not 100% sure where it comes from. So I'm used to him having a really bulky body or just having a little bit different face. He's got a um, ab slash diaphragm joint, very visible. He's also got a waist joint. And he has a leg joint, pretty decent leg. It does have a click to prevent um, him falling over. Now my figure's legs can be well, this one seems to be a little bit shorter than this one, so I have to make um, special concessions when putting him down, lest he fall over. Uh, double jointed knee. His um, shoot once again. Just one that moves, but I guess it doesn't. Whoops, or it might move. Who knows? But he has a point of movement down here at the ankle, which is concealed by the fur. And another point at the toe. My uh, left foot here is really loose. Now, Sasquatch bears a very strong resemblance to Man-Thing from Series 8, mostly due to the height, but in addition to that, they also used a similar style for the... I guess like the fur things that come off it, but of course Man-Thing did not have individually articulated fingers, and he sort of had vein-like roots running throughout the body. Instead of fur, he had a sort of, I guess it's like a little matted effect where little indentations and so forth, but I haven't seen a man thing in a while, so not 100% sure about any of that. Paint-wise, Sasquatch is a, I guess, tawnish, orangish brown. More orange than anything else, actually. 
Uh, what looks like they did for paint, because mine's chipped at the shoulder or something over here, is the uh, plastic is probably just a generic gray. And then due to the sculpt of the fur here, when they spray painted stuff on, the spray didn't reach as far into the cracks as everything else, so it gave it a, a more distinct look for the fur itself. As you can see, it's a pretty nice effect, and I mean, it's a decent looking amount of variation. Not a tremendous amount, but I guess there's only so much you can do with a mostly orange figure. The one problem, however, is that this trend kind of didn't carry on the plastic add-ons. I mean, it did around the loincloth here, but this is just a solid orange here at the legs with like a little streak of brown, so it doesn't really match the actual fur here. Uh, the face sculpt looks great. really like this. It's a really distinct looking face. Good color. No painters actually either. I can see at any rate. And the hair on the head looks a little bit different from the fur on the body, but I guess it's excusable just because it is hair. And that color does sort of match the outer furry portions here. On the whole, Sasquatch is a pretty decent figure, although I suspect many people won't be interested simply because Sasquatch doesn't play into the mainstream Marvel continuity as much as other characters. And design-wise, he might look a little plain. However, he does complement my Wendigo and will fit into any North American wilderness or folklore display pretty easily. Um, when he first came out, he's probably a pretty good value considering you're paying about 8 or $9 for a figure this size. Secondary market-wise, I'm not sure what he'd be running at, but because I got mine in a bundle with a few other figures. Um, I guess if I was to just give him a score on a scale of 1 to 10, 5 being absolute median, I'd probably give him about 6.5. Decent figure, but by no means essential, unless you happen to be a fan of Wolverine's backstory, or the Alpha Flight, or Gamma Flight, or Omega Flight, or was it Delta Flight? But yeah, until next time, folks.